what did I want the displacement to mean to me? Why did I, why did I, how did I become displaced? And how do I stop myself from ever being there again? What did I learn about myself during the displacement? What did I learn about people? What did I learn about the general population and pack mentalities or gang mentalities? What did I learn about that? How does that reflect back onto me? And then how do I reflect that back outward out of the interpretation that I create for that with how it is that I navigate through this world? Do I then fear people? Or do I open up my heart wider to let more people in or to accept more people? Do I lay down and cower? Or do I stand up and say, this is me and I am here and I'm not going anywhere? What is it that I will do? What is it that you will do with your life? What is the meaning that you will extrapolate from the things that have happened to you in your life? There are people who have gotten HIV. What do they do with that information? Do they then spread the, 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 the illness outward? Or do they stand up in front of other people and talk about their experience or try to educate other people? It's like the choice is each of ours and the choice is individual. And it's like in your life, you have to realize that you are the author of the story of your life. And what type of story is it that you're going to make about your life? What will it be? It's all about choice. We have choices. What is it that I choose for me? And what is it that you choose for you are going to be different. And that's okay. That is okay. I've learned that. People project. I'm gonna say this last thing and then I'm gonna get out of the video. Because I remember, I remember during my displacement, Tamar Braxton had been fired from the real. And I remember that there were people who came out and they were salivating. They thought it was funny. They were like, see there? Because somewhere along the line, somebody taught them that it's not all right to be yourself. It's not all right to be loud if you choose to be loud. That you have to fit into someone's someone's paradigm of what it is that they consider to be ladylike or proper or whatever that you have to fit into that and if you don't then you will be penalized you will be ostracized and that that's what you deserve and somebody else thought you know what if it's okay to be you and if one with one opportunity doesn't work out for you it was not the right opportunity for you so did you go on to a different opportunity there are some people, and then this is, this is going to be the last thing that I say. There's one person that I read in the comments, and they were like, oh, look at Tanya. She thinks that she's going to be Oprah. Have you ever seen Oprah behave this way? And in that person's mind, this is what I say when, when, when you talk and you express, you express what's really going on inside of you because that person feels that in order, first of all, that it's, feasible to quote unquote want to be like somebody else that's one and in two that there's only a few different ways or one particular way to be successful and that if you deviate from that that you are quote unquote that you won't be successful also three this person has the idea that it's not all right to be you I don't want to be Oprah I want to be Tanya TKO there's you have listen you have no competition when it comes to being you, none. Be you, be the best you that you can be, and you are all right as you are, whether you decide to do something or whether you decide to do nothing, you are all right, it's okay. It's like I've learned during the displacement, the sun comes up and the sun goes down. What is it that you exchange that time in between, the time of your life? What do you exchange for that time of the day? In between, what, does, what do you do with that time? It's like, this is the story of your life and you are in a constant state of creation. What are you creating for your life? What are you creating for your life? So it's like you have no competition when it comes to being you. Be the best you that you can be, however it is that you decide to create for that person. And I've learned a lot about what it is that people feel that they deserve because when I was, when I was traversing through the displacement, I would go to very rich neighborhoods and I would drive through, it, like I could always tell, because oftentimes a rich neighborhood is, right, is, is, is perpendicular or adjacent to a poor neighborhood. And you can always tell when you're in a rich neighborhood because the grounds are clean, the sidewalks are upkept, the bushes are trimmed. I mean, what's the difference? 
looks like the same city sidewalk. But for some reason, the people who are in the poorer neighborhoods don't feel that they deserve clear sidewalks. So therefore, they don't complain to the city. They just accept it as it is. They just accept the cracked and the dirty and the broken sidewalks and the, the broken street lamps. And they just, they just accept that as it is. I go, well, this is, I, what can I do? I don't deserve any more than this. So I've learned a lot about people and myself and why is it that there are certain, certain things, certain compulsions and certain things that I like. Did I like those things because I had money before? Or do I like those things because this is a part of, of who it is that I am and who it is that I choose to be, whether I have money or not? Do I eat well because things are going well? Do I sleep well because things are going well? Or do I find a way to eat as best as I can no matter how things are going? Do I find a way to love myself regardless? And you know what it's like? So I decided to write a book. I decided to give my displacement some meaning and be able to help other people because I had to go through the journey. I had to go through the journey back into self-love. And this is what I'm writing about in the book now. It's like, and also, okay, so I can sign a contract with a publisher, but I still have to do the work. I have to write that book. I have to stay on it. I have to stay true to it. I have to stay committed to it. I have to do that every single day, otherwise it won't get done. It's like I can sit back and do nothing, and then that's okay too. But what is it that I choose to do? What is it that you choose to do? And it's like, you know what? I said that that was going to be the last note. So let me, let, me, let me get out of here so that you guys can enjoy this video and what it is that's going to happen next. You guys are going to see very shortly what it is that's going to happen. Also, the Displacement for the Dream Diaries, the full thing is going to be available. I'm going to let you know, let you guys know how you can get that because the Displacement is a really important time of my life. And when the story of Tanya TKO is told, that story will also be in there. All of it will be in there. I'm not sad for the displacement. The displacement made me into the woman that it is that I am today. And I don't regret that because I needed for that to happen for me to get where it is that I am today. You know, it's like sometimes we say that we want a certain thing and we get caught up on the how. How is this going to happen? Hmm. And there was a thing that I wanted. I didn't realize that the how of how that was going to happen was going to happen in the way that it happened. But I needed that in order to get to where it is that I am right now. And so it's like I had to really relax into that and allow life to speak through me because life was trying to tell me something. And I had to listen. I had to listen. And so what is your life trying to tell you and what is it that you need to listen to? What did my displacement mean to you? Did it teach you that you're the type of person who likes to gang up on people when you think that they're down? Did it teach you that you're the type of person who gains inspiration from seeing what other people are doing and say, you know what, I can, I can do that too. Are you the type of person, did, did, did you learn about yourself that you're the type of person who's like, you know what, I don't expect for this person to be human because you're not giving yourself the opportunity and the ability to be human yourself. Listen, I love you all very much. I'm going to get out of this video because I didn't expect for it to be this long. I just wanted to come out and, and say hello. And listen, I, this, this, okay, this is going to be the last thing that I'm going to say and then I'm going to get out of here. I did have an opportunity to see a lot of the comments that were commented on, on well, not a lot, of, I saw some of the comments that were commented on my video. And some of the comments made me feel bad. They did. But you know, it didn't make me feel bad for me. It actually, sometimes it makes me feel bad and it made me feel bad for the people who were commenting those things because it's like, here we have an opportunity. There's some information that's being presented. And what some people chose to do really depicted a really sad scenario for for certain people. It's like, okay, you know what? I wish that I should listen. How, how, how do I how do I wrap this up so that I could so that I could end the video? Um, some of it made me sad because it's like some people just they unfortunately just really don't get it. Just really don't get it. Some people just really don't get that. In this life, listen, you got to do the best that you can, you know, and any moment that you spend looking outward at other people, trying to tell them and, and 
all of this. Like there's so many people, there are people who spent so much time thinking that they were researching me and they are squandering time that they could have been investing and really getting to know themselves while they're trying to get to know me. They're losing out on that time where they could be investing on getting what it is that they want in their lives because you know what, listen, I'm going on. And so it's like, while I'm pushing on and when you see where it is that I'm going from here, I'm not stumbling and I'm not faltering from the claims and from the conspiracy theories and all of that, I'm moving on, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going forward. And in that amount of time, what could that person have done for their life? I'm moving forward, what could you have done with that time to better your life? Because while I'm going after my dreams, are you going after yours? Are you sitting there criticizing a person going after their dreams? What you are witnessing is a person who has gone all in in pursuit of her dream. What are you doing to actualize and realize your own? While you're sitting there watching me thinking that this is entertainment, what are you doing for your own life? What are you doing for the, for the pursuit of your own dreams? Because I'm going after mine full throttle. Nothing's going to stop me. Nothing. I'm doing the work. I'm showing my dedication. I'm doing it. However, I hope that the same people who spend the time investing into trying to come up with these theories about me, I'm hoping that you're dedicating the same amount of time, if not more, to yourself. How can it even be the same amount of time? I would hope that you're investing so much more time into yourself. Anyway, listen, let me get out of here on that note. Hug me, hug me. I love you guys. Love, 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 love. Yes, yes, yes. Now go out there and love one another, but most importantly, what? Let me hear it. Love one another, but most importantly, love yourself. Love yourself. And self-love is taking the time to look inward. Self-love is taking the time to find truth for you. Self-love is accepting yourself as you are. Self-love is doing the work. Self-love is finding purpose and meaning in your own life. Self-love. So one more hug, one more hug. <laughs> I love you guys. And I will see you all in the next video. But like I said, you guys are gonna see soon. You guys are gonna see soon. So listen, I'll see you all later. Peace. <laughs> I, I felt it in my spirit to add this before I uploaded the video because I feel that somebody may need this message. Childhood molestation, rape, death, miscarriage, the loss of a job, the loss of money, the loss of your physical abilities. What does all of this mean? Why did any of this happen? And it's really only up to you to find meaning in it. And what's going to be meaning for one person is going to be different than what will be the meaning for you. And it's up to you to find the meaning of the events in your life for you or not. And they're both okay. And I will, I will finally, finally, finally end on this note. I've been, I've been hearing about a lot of people dying lately. Cancer, car accidents, mishaps. I mean, even if you look, if you look on, on social media and even in some of, the, some of the famous people that we've known, Prince is dead, Muhammad Ali. And it's like, you know, I was just looking, I was looking at the Instagram of an associate yesterday and he was talking about this young lady that he hadn't been in touch with for some time and they had a really close friendship before but then he looked up on social media and she was gone it's like her pictures are all still there but she's no longer on this earth it just makes me think we got one shot and there are no there's no do-overs there's no take back there's no rewriting this is that one chance that we have this is our life right now and there's no there's no rewrites this is it right here what is it that we're going to do in exchange for this life that we've been given and it's like open your eyes open your eyes we're given a new chance a new shot every day what are we going to do with that and I can say this listen a lot of people can say a lot of things about Tanya but the one thing that they can never say is that I did not try. That I did not try. Nobody can say that I did not try. 
because while I was here, I did everything that I could to make my life into what I want it to be. And I can only hope, I can only hope that you're doing the same thing because there is no second chance. This is it. We, for those of you who believe that we can come back, we can come back in a different life as a different person. But this right here is the only time that you will ever be you. What do the experiences mean that added into you becoming you in this life? And what is it that you're going to do? Are you going to die with your song still inside of you? I chose not to. I chose not to. And the road has been bumpy along the way. But I was not going to stay in an existence which did not feel like me. I wasn't going to stay in that existence. So the only thing I can do as I close out this video is beseech you, beseech you to realize time, oh, time is so precious. You know, I think about things a little bit differently because my mother died when I was 19. And in a few months, I would have outlived the age of my mother. So coming from very early in my life, death and no rewrites has been a part of my life and so I come at this from a different perspective because I'm gonna say this and I don't typically talk about the details of of my mother's passing but I'll say this when my mother died she had her keys in her pocket meaning she thought she was coming back home Whenever we walk out these doors during the day, we don't know what's going to happen out there in those streets. We don't know whether or not when we wake up one morning that that will be our last day here on this earth. We don't know. We don't know. And so that's part of the reason that sometimes I feel so sad for the people who are investing all of this time in the Tanya TKO takedown. And it's such a waste up of their lives. It's like, I'm taking my shot and I'm going for it in my life. What are you doing with yours? What is the meaning of all of the events in your life and what purpose will you give that? And what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? And where do you go on from here? Where do you go? What do you do from here? And that's it. I'm going to hug you guys and I'm going to get out of here. Hug me. I love you guys very, very much. Go out there and love one another. Most importantly, love yourself. Love yourself. And loving yourself is finding meaning, taking control, and going for that. Realizing that there are no do-overs. We get one chance. Once you have written onto the story of your life, it is so written. You can always make a choice for the future to change the future and change things. But what happened in the past happened. What sense will you make of it? What purpose will you give to it to get you to where it is that you want to be? And where is that? Listen, only you know. Only you can choose that. I'm choosing for me. I'm not dying with my song inside of me. And I'm giving meaning to all of the things that happen. Taking control of the things that happen in my life. And I only wish the same for you. One more hug and then we're out. Love, 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 love. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.